Hello and welcome to this week's Whispers from the Woods. It is a beautiful sunny afternoon and we are taking a walk through a woodland and we are here to identify four wild flowers. I don't know what I'm going to find. You may have already seen my other video on YouTube which is 12 commonly found wildflowers in spring. It's now later in spring and I want to find a different four flowers that we're more likely to find late spring, early summer and help you to be able to identify them for yourself. So let's see what we can find. Here I am with a really attractive woodland plant. It's called sweet woodruff or just woodruff. But it stands out to me because of the pattern of the leaves. They're in these whorls of about eight leaves that all come out from the same point of the stem. Then there's a big gap and another whorl of leaves. The flowers are tiny little clusters of um, white flowers in the shape of a cross, so four petals. But it really stands out to me because of the leaf pattern. I wouldn't say it was a super common plant don't see it all that often but it's it's certainly nice when you do find it. There's something really pleasing about the distance between each of the the walls of leaves how uh, they're equal distance apart it's very pleasing. It's easy to identify in the fact that the leaves are in these patterns but also the stem is almost square it doesn't feel round at all but it does make a lovely attractive plant. Next we have a very common wild plant. You've probably seen it thousands of times, possibly in your garden, getting in all the nooks and crannies. This is Herb Robert. It's a real opportunist of a plant and it probably doesn't need a lot of nutrition to grow because it will just grow out of the cracks in walls and between paving slabs. It's, I think, a very attractive little plant. It's got these beautiful pink flowers and a red stem, which is hairy. The pink flowers are very attractive as they've got these white veins coming from the centre along the petals. There are five petals and even the buds before the flower actually opens are really interesting spikes that come out of the unopened flower with a bright red tip. The leaves are made up of leaflets, usually in three. It can be used as a food, very commonly used as a tea. It's got nutritional benefits and it's a very common. Um, you find it all over the place. Gardens, edges of fields, walls, woodlands, all over. So this is Herb Robert, a good one to know. So this flower stands tall and proud and cannot go by unnoticed. You may know it as the Oxeye Daisy or another name is Moon Daisy. I think I prefer that name. So it looks very much like the traditional daisy that we have in our lawns and on playing fields, but it's much bigger and stands out against the background. It's very, very beautiful against this, this bank of ferns and Herb Robert and trees and moss. They really do ping out and the leaves are very distinctive. They come, they kind of climb up and down the stem, very, very deep toothed, small leaves, thick stem, and they stand tall. So you just can't not be able to identify them. They don't really look like anything else. They're apparently not great for hay. Cows don't like them because the stems are too woody. Um, a stalks, so probably not loved by farmers, but we'll find them on um, slopes like this, the sides of uh, fields, in woodlands, and they're a nice surprise when we come across them.
This is speedwell and this is another common wildflower. It's got tiny little blue flowers that can go unnoticed but I've stopped right here because it's a really beautiful scene. They're peppered quite prolifically in this area but amongst the pink flowers of the Herb Robert and the bright yellow of the Buttercup it looks a beautiful display of colour. So Speedwell we can uh, recognise this by the blue flowers. There are deeper blue veins on the petals. The stems have two lines opposed, opposite each other of hairs, quite noticeable. Oval leaves, toothed, and they, these act like a carpet on a woodland floor, waste ground, fields. It's, you can find this all over. But just look at this carpet of colour. The blue, the pink and the yellow is so gorgeous. They are also used as a wound healer and as a general tonic. I know that this plant is full of iron, so good for general health. I hope you can now go out and confidently identify those four plants that we've looked at today. I'd still recommend taking an ID bit book with you. Probably two is always best because you never know what else you're going to find while you're on your walk. So you might see a flower and really desperately want to know the name of it. If you've got your ID book, you can always look it up. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for more Whispers from the Woods.